guys, so my name is Emma and I'm a geologist and paleontologist from the United Kingdom. Now I'm going to be talking to you guys today about how you can get into the subject geology and what you need to kind of go into this as a subject. So we'll start with A levels. My advice would be you need a humanity like a geography or a geo subject. I know some colleges do offer geology itself, but if they don't, just follow geography or physical geography. That's a really good option to get yourself in the door for geological subjects because it gives you the base and foundation of knowledge that you need to study it at university level and then also maybe maths and a science. I personally did maths, physics and geography and uh, they were the perfect kind of trio of subjects that really gave me the base knowledge I needed to go into geology but don't worry if those aren't your subjects there is a possibility to still get into geology without doing the um, science and math subjects. You can do what's called a foundation year where the university actually prepares you for the course in a one year kind of pre-university if that makes sense. So it will add one year onto your studies but it will really get you ready for that course. So there's many ways into university and into geology. You don't need to worry if uh, certain things aren't going to work out for you. There's many options but that's my route into university and I personally didn't know about geology as a subject until after college so when I went to college geography was a subject but geology wasn't offered and it was only at university that I managed to find a geology course and I have never looked back so I'm currently a geologist studying geoconservation so I'm going into the conservation side of geology but if you're wondering what a geologist can do there are so many job opportunities so geology is the study of rocks. It's a very broad subject and it's all to do with earth science and there are so many doors that are opened by it. So if you like things like fossils or minerals or just rocks in general, it's a great subject for you and you can work as a teacher in education, in science communication, you can work in museums, you can work for the oil and gas industry, for geotechnical companies. The list is pretty much endless and also after your degree you can also then specialise in other subjects and different companies will train you up and you can do surveying or lots of field work. I mean, I'm try there are so many options. This video, I cannot cover all of them, but it's a really interesting subject. If you have any further questions, please don't uh, feel free to just email me and I will be happy to answer anything. But my personal passion is paleontology. So that's a bit of the boring stuff about how to get into university and what you can work as. I'm going to show you some fossils now. So I have with me some trilobites. Now trilobites are an example of an extinct fossil but there are living relatives. So what this means you might have seen is called a horseshoe crab and that's related to trilobites or a woodlouse. So these are arthropods that have segmented bodies and trilobites lived in the Cambrian period about 500 million years ago. Now geological time is a huge subject uh, to try and fathom how big 500 million years is, is very hard to do, but we're talking a long, long time ago. So these are some of the first creatures that came about on our earth. And here is an example of what these creatures can look like. So they look quite scary, but this is a lovely fossil and you can see there's all these spines on the body here. And you've also got the eyes here. And so trilobites, they're called tri because they're made up of three main parts. So you've got the head, You've got the segmented body and then you've got what's called kind of like the tail area. So that's why they're called a trilobite because they have three kind of lobes. But that's one example. Then I've also got this smaller one here. So this is a smaller, smaller species of trilobites, but they can get up to nearly a metre long. So I'm currently studying in Portugal and there's something called a geopark. Now, for those of you who don't know what a geopark is, it's a special area that's got a special kind of conservation status because it's got amazing geology within it. And this geopark is home to the biggest trilobites in the world. They get to about 80 centimetres long. So you think this one's big, imagine this, but on steroids, we're talking 80 centimeters, it's huge but they are really spectacular specimens. And so with geology and paleontology, it takes you round the world. So I've currently, I've studied in France, I've studied in Portugal, I'm going to study in Greece as well. So if you like traveling and seeing new things, geology is all of the earth. It's not just 
England. It's everywhere. So whenever you go on holiday next or you visit another place in England, you gotta look out for the different geology and everything. You, you'll start to notice it more. And when you study the subject, to understand the rocks that you see, it's a really special feeling, I think anyway. So that's just a very quick introduction on geology as a subject and how you can get into it. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to email me. I'll put my email on the screen here as well if you have any further queries or questions. But thank you again for watching and good luck with whatever you choose.